now, Eyewitness News begins with your forecast first. Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Craig Flynn. Temperatures dropping down to some pretty chilly levels tonight. That is courtesy of a clear sky, light wind. It's 49 right now on our way to the mid 40s by the time you wake up, which implies that some of you, especially far distant countryside, will be down in the upper 30s. The complete forecast coming up. Eyewitness News starts right now. Local news that matters. This is Eyewitness News at 11 on WUTR. Tonight's top stories at 11 and new information tonight from Oneida City Police on the suspect involved in this weekend's crash and explosion. Plus a look at the bizarre thing found during evacuation. And a teenage boy turned himself in for shooting a security officer at Proctor High School. But will he be tried as a teenager in court? Plus, in honor for Oneida County, the Conference of County Executives coming here for the very first time. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight for Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Jamie Azule. An update tonight on the teen being held responsible for crashing into a house in the city of Oneida over the weekend. That house later exploded. Andrew Donovan tells us now what he's learned about the suspect. The end of the story is well known by now. A gas line ruptured by a crash fueled